What do you recommend for joint KPIs and sales? I, I guess it's a great question that, and one that, that I've, I've worked in with many different organizations looking at how we do it. Um, I, I think churn is an important one, um, whether it's a revenue churn or customer number churn. Um, I, I want my sale guys to know customers that are going out and why they're going out. So not just the numbers, but why they're leaving. So I think that's a very important joint KPI. Um, I, and on the other side, renewal percentages. You know, I, if we do things right, I want everyone to know how often and how frequently people are renewing. Also, what upsell is being done, what cross sell. So how does the expansion look like with the accounts of the customers? That's really critical. Um, I, I think something that we talked about was having a customer rate or score um, the likelihood of how they've achieved or how they have achieved their business outcomes at, at the QBR. Um, so at the first QBR we do, or, and subsequent QBRs, how well have we achieved the business outcomes? And that goes back to the original sale. If the sales guys understand what it is we're selling and what the outcomes are, it can really fit nicely there. So I really like that. Uh, I think a really other good one that we, we talked about yesterday, Jason, we had a lot of debate about NPS. Um, and, and in the end decided not NPS wouldn't be a joint one, but it was the, if you ask a customer to rate, at any point, how likely are you to renew? So the question is, if you had to renew today, would you? And get everybody, sales, success, every other one of the organization, ask that as part of your interactions. Mm -hmm. And I think that absolutely is a joint KPI that everybody should share. I think it really shows you're not, not just that someone would recommend you, but actually based on how things are today, you would renew. We've delivered sufficiently to renew. So I think that one's really powerful. I, I think that one's great. Yeah. And I think if, if during the sales process and during the transition process to implementation, setting the expectation of the client that, look, we are so focused on you getting the, the expected business outcomes and the value that you need that you will want to renew with us for you know 20 years. And to help us gauge where we're doing along that continuum, um, we're going to ask you in every, every um, interaction, have we created enough value that you would renew today? And, and, and not just the sales process or the tool, but the end-to-end -to -end experience, are they confident that they're getting the outcomes that they want that would justify this. And, and that really, I think, is a great way to say, are we being successful today? And, and if we're not, well, then clearly we've got to turn something around. And, and I think customers would probably be un uncomfortable with that or not used to it at first, but then as you do it and they get used to the magic question at the end of every meeting, um, and even start off with the meeting, I mean, at the end of this, we're going to ask you this. Um, you know, I think we'll get used to it and it'll be a really great way to help get tighter with your customers too. Great question. So I think these, these are just some of the KPIs that we've thought through. I think there are lots of other ones. We'd love to hear your feedback, um, what ones you've used.